Isaiah 9, 8, 19 and 2. And I'm accepting Egyptians against the Egyptians. You're talking about America. And they shall fight one against him, against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek the, to the idols, and to charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits and wizards. Oh, see, they doing that now. Y'all think, think it's funny? This whole country is run by wizards, sorcerers. That's what all these uh, Freemasonic lodges are all about. There's a free Freemason lodge on every street. Shit, fucking colleges, the Alpha and, yeah. and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, the fraternities. If you want to be successful in college, yep. if you want to get a guaranteed career, you got to be a part of one of those fraternities, a Greek fraternity. And it, that's all number uh, devil worship, uh, homosexual initiation rituals. Yeah, if you play any sports in college, you got to be part of a fraternity, and that's a fact. Oh, you got something? I was on, uh, I think it was like E. Now, you know, that website we have this on YouTube, we teach you how to do shit. Yeah, yeah. One of the E. Howard, Howard Cast, one of the ones. But it had a series on how to put spell on people and shit. Oh, shh. Yeah, can't believe you playing everything. This part of the They got it on that, just a regular how to channel. <laughs> I know, because, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. They acting like it's just like a, 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 a household hacker or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, three easy steps you can just put a hex on something. <laughs> I told my uh, sister, because, you know, I look since five years old. She watched that bullshit Disney channel. I said, what's that? I was like, what's that? I said, magic is bad or something like that. She said, oh, magic. It's good magic. Well, they're not even kids doing this good. It's what they call a good magic. Check. 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 They probably Check. said it Check. in the cartoon. Check. Check. Oh, yeah. They said it's white magic. Hey, hey, the Wiccans say that. The Wiccans, oh, they're, yeah. they're the pagans, yeah. and the Wiccans claim like they're the good, they're the good witches. Yeah, they're the good witches. <laughs> hey, your, hey, I bet your girl was a good witch too in that movie, The Black Death. Oh yeah, <laughs> the one that was putting her. Say, say, that's the that's the bitch right there to end up Kill draw, drawing a quarter in you. You know what I mean? Yeah. End up executing you, that good witch. Yeah, that's, See, they, that's the one that's gonna lose their mind and start murdering us. Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Right, that's popular nowadays. A lot of people into paganism. A lot of, especially women, are really into witchcraft. And they, they put the wreaths on their doors. Because, you know, in the witchcraft, they say that wreath they put on their door, whatever they put on that wreath symbolizes what they want to allow into their house. So they, like, I, I see, I was watching, I heard, they always talk about this shit. Like, I even see this one tape. A Judite was saying that if you put cinnamon on your reef, cinnamon represents wealth and money. And if you put it on your reef, it, it attracts money to your house. So think about that. When you look at they people's house. Yeah. Welfare, child support. They all to that witchcraft. She get that money on the left hand side. It probably does have power to it. It probably does. Side. Just like you put a cross on your door or uh, goddamn seizure boards there. Hey, that's why the scripture said we're supposed to put the commandments on our door. Yeah. Not no damn reef. Not no, you see it's common now. A lot of people are putting uh, uh, five-pointed uh, pentagrams on their door. That's because that's, that's people, are, they're wicked. They're, like, wicked is, they, I was looking up, they got the website. You can go to the wicked, uh, the meetings and gatherings out in the grove. The grove, I mean, it, 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 yeah, they got giant get together. Yep. It's huge. Yep. Delaware. Yep. Yep. Oh, they did that, that article in the, uh, the news. Remember they said it, they had a whole wicked community up over the Delaware. Yeah. 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 So we ain't just making shit up. I got something cool. I'm going to find out the But yeah, you know what else is getting popular too is that wicked. Now, uh, you, a lot of these uh, so-called white people, they believe, uh, they starting to worship Odin and Thor again. You see a lot of people walking around with a Thor's hammer around their neck. You, know, you didn't see that 10 years ago. This is 1 Samuel 15 and 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Yep. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord he had also rejected thee from Ooh. being king. Wow. So since y'all, so if you if you choose, so-called choose, uh, if you choose to reject these words, then the most high gonna reject you. And you and you and these people in their proud spirit, 
they really feel like they can't be rejected. You know what I mean? In their mind, they think all our words is bullshit. They, they think this, these words is, oh, is bullshit. I love my Jesus. Yeah. They don't understand they're going to get rejected. They don't understand what that means. Remember the scripture that says that your children are cursed already or something like yeah, that? Yeah. Cursed already? It is cursed already. No. Yeah, where is that one? Cursed already. He says, already. Cursed their children. No, know what they say? Soon their children are cursed already. Something like that, man. Yeah, I get it. You know? So, in other words, they've already rejected. <laughs> I really, actually, when you get to the deep, the, we go deep on you. Ain't nobody listening my way. There they are. <laughs> well, there they they are. You know what I mean? They're trying not to listen. You know, you go too deep. They just, their mind explodes when you give them milk. You go deep on them. Then they'll just. <laughs> Lactate, like, like, what's your lactate tolerance or lactose intolerance? Yeah, and they start shitting it all out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's right, you give them the milk, they lactose intolerant, they get diarrhea. Right. In one out, you know the old saying, in one ear, out the other? Yeah. But when we give it to them, they just shit it out. Hmm. But, uh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, because the scriptures say that Israel, the elected Israel, was chosen yeah. before the earth was even created. So that means that the two thirds was chosen to be uh, reprobates before the earth was even created. <laughs> Everything was already set up. You know what I mean? But the Lord, if you was a, if you a reprobate now, y'all don't know what that means. A degenerate, a reprobate, a degenerate, a, a fool. What's another word for that? A fool, a good for nothing, a simpleton, a, a pockum, a, a idiote. A nincompoop. Is that acceptable? <laughs> so if you any of these things, that's because the Lord had, had given you over to that reprobate spirit. Are you good? Good, good, good. Second Peter. They say they were great. Look at this shit. Second Peter 2. What's your nationality? He said no. Yeah. He said no. <laughs> No, that's a nationality? Uh, yeah, it's America. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> right. America. <laughs> <laughs> Second Peter 2 and 12. It says that these oh, as okay. natural oh, okay. people. Okay. Yeah, natural. Yeah. He said natural brute beast. Some people were created to be brute beast. Yeah, that's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. Hey, to be taken. Hey. That's to the point, right? That's yeah. the only thing right there. Damn, that's yeah. It says, speak right. evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Yeah, Ooh. utterly perish in their own corruption. Yeah. That's fire. What do you have? That's that piece of wood. Yeah, that whole. So we all just pretty much going through the motion. Being okay, prophets of the Lord. Okay. They being two thirds. Everybody just going through the motions. They just going through them because sometimes I don't even I don't remember half these years we've been teaching. It was like I, the most high put you on autopilot. You in a trance teaching. Man, you look at you've been out here for ten years almost. It don't feel like ten years. Right, right. Just a, how, how many times you watched the movie man over? Because everybody's seen the movie before the some movie yep. two three times. But how many times you seen in that movie? The, 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 the ones that got blown the fuck away changed their destiny. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It never happened. Time? Time? Right. I've never seen it happen, man. Yeah, every time you watch a... Uh, that's all this is, a theater that's playing out again, man. Yeah, yeah. Every time a Star Wars... Yeah, uh, Darth Vader throws the Emperor over the rail every time. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it never changed. Yeah, yeah. Right, and the script was already written. Yeah. That's and funny, and you get bugged out thinking about that, you know? Right. I don't know. We just ain't going to go too much deeper oh, than that. Oh, you're going over their heads again. Oh, yeah. They don't realize this has been played out before. Yeah. You know? What you think it means when the prophet is having visions of this and that? Yeah. <laughs> you're right. He's seen the future. The Lord, too. Yeah. When Satan was, you know, carrying him everywhere, man. Yeah, he showed him America. You know? Exact same shit. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to the same two. shit. Visions they seen 3,000 3, years ago, what, like the prophet Ezra was about what, about 2,600 years or something, somewhere around there. And he he seen World War Three. He seen nukes. He seen the chariot. He seen it every chariot. Ezra got a large portion. He actually seen World War Three. Because you know, also the prophet, the prophet Ezra, 
he's the one that actually uh, to preserve the whole Old Testament for us. You know that, right? For how I tell you, after they came out of captivity, he, he wrote all the books down. Right, right, right. They say he was the one that invented the block script. I don't know if that's true. So the Lord gave. Hey, then the Lord gave the Obadiah the, the heavy prophecy. You know what I mean? They gave, he showed him the future of Edom. Yeah. It's on one page, but that one page, boy. Oh, heavy. That's a, that's a, it's heavy. That's like one page. That's, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. <laughs> what is that one fire page? There's ain't nothing but meat in it, though. Like, nothing but meat. You know? It, it's to oh, the point. Lord. Straight to the point. It's straight to the point. <laughs> it's fucking, what's your boy, man? Steve, man, talking about. Esau don't exist no more. Oh, Steven Anderson? <laughs> he said, he ain't the only one. That's, that's well, popular, yeah, man. Yeah. That's hey, actually popular. Both well. having him say that. I'm but, a scholar, scholar. but they'll say, the Lord came to save all nations, but Esau was destroyed. Right. <laughs> but I thought he came to save everybody. That don't even make sense. <laughs> what was salvation for Esau? That's a contradiction in y'all's own uh, doctrine. Yeah. That's funny. I was breaking up yesterday. What? What we're talking about? Esau. Esau. Oh, now we need to do more videos on Esau. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, you being so caught up with these whacked out Israelites? That's out of control. Boy got rainbow covered umbrella. <laughs> I had a scripture too. I was just saying. Uh, real quick. Can you read this one? Go ahead, never mind. Spirit shit. Yeah. Uh, I've been distilled already, but this is the Bible dictionary. Edom, the definition of Edom. Edom fig figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as a scene of great future judgment. Future judgment. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from the Most High. So this was written in what, what, the late 1960s, I'm not sure. And it says, Great Future Judgment. So it hasn't happened yet when they printed this book. So these Edomites are still around. They're the ones that's controlling the banks. They're the ones that's controlling the, uh, the judicial system. Right, the military. That's the Edomites. See, they're, uh, they're, they're identity thieves. We are the real you know? Right, that's why you see with Huntington Bank, you see they got the six point stars, that simple. You see, you can see the symbol right there. So what about the actual bank? I know that you can't be personal Facebook company. For real? I got a scripture to back you up. Let's go in the Esau and Blessed. That's a Genesis uh, 27. In 38, and Esau said unto his father, Had thou but one blessing, my father, bless me even also, O my father. And Esau lift up, lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother, and that shall come to pass. When thou shalt have the dominion, thou that? shalt break his yoke from thy neck. He's talking about Esau, the brother of Jacob in the Bible, by the sword. It said he would, uh, his dwelling would be the fatness of the earth. I mean, right. He controlled the whole planet. And he does it through the sword. Through constantly, the constantly on the move. From nation to nation to nation. Taking their, wait a minute, uh, assassinating their political leaders. <laughs> they're trying to go to North Korea right now. <laughs> taking their resources, just like they're doing in Syria. You see, Turkey, Turkey just put on a, uh, an assault in Syria. Yep. They're trying to grab their piece of land. That's all they're doing, man. That's why that middle, what they call it, the War of Armageddon will take place in that area. Because yep. that's where everybody's going to be fighting for that land. In at, the man. Valley of Jehoshaphat. That's right. The Valley of Decision. Oh, we should get that. The yeah. Valley of Decision. <laughs> no. So this devil, so he's, he's running everything. America all this uh, this, America's on his way out. This is on his way out. This is on his way out. <laughs> You know, so those those are those people out here that really don't give a damn about the Lord. Just continue oh having a good time. You know, I got the elect the Lord is coming to save the elect of our I got a scripture. He's literally coming to destroy America from the East Coast, West Coast, 
from up in Canada to all the way down to New Orleans. What's that stressor from like Cayman to Dayday? Ah, that's good. He's the right hand of the world. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. He's going to destroy oh, this place. I got a fire. That's what I'm saying. I got a fire. That's a second answer. No. These pastors will tell you the Lake of Fire is something in hell. Hell don't exist. The Lake of Fire is when the elect were getting delivered going up. They were looking down on America getting hit with thermonuclear missiles. Yep. You know, fire. And them, them nuclear missiles burn over two, two billion degrees or something like that, man. It's a nuke. <laughs> it's just, that's burning everything. A nuke. Ain't nothing surviving a nuke. Right. That's one. You know, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them being yep. built right now. Getting ready for the, and you know what, the, really, the main thing, they really getting ready to shoot at the Lord when he gets here. You know, the, the, they're, 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 that cherry on the, that tip of that pie is for us, the rest of the beast. That's what they think. That's their mind state, you know? That's that rotten child. You got something up? It's uh, uh, Isaiah 13 and uh, 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. You know who Babylon is? Who's that? Ba Babylon's America. Not ancient Babylon or Iraq. Not ancient Babylon. Well, it's the harlot too. America's had many names. Yeah, the, the scripture you, they calls it the harlot, Revelation 17. Where also it calls it the harlot, the mystery of Babylon. Mystery Babylon. This is mystery Babylon. It ain't a mystery though, is it? Well, not that. It's not really a mystery. Uh, if you break it down to scripture, that scripture, you read it, ain't really a mystery. Because they, because where they, they call it mystery Babylon too, so, because they, they, uh, they do everything through sorcery and witchcraft. There you go. And they even call the, uh, the Freemasonry and all that. They call that the mystery uh, religion. The, uh, what is, uh, the mystery teaching. The beauty of Chinese, His Excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So the moon got to destroy half. By fire, right? Fire from heaven. Let me transvestite you see today. Oh, <laughs> Man, it should never be at Shall never be inhabited, neither shall be brought in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian fish tent there, neither shall the shepherds move their boat there. So that's pretty much saying that the miracle is playing out there on its way out. Eventually, all this shit that's doing the politicians, the country being stable. Right now, I think this government is still under shutdown. Yeah, the government, the government is shut down right now. Right. And that's these devils can't get along. They can't, they can't agree well, on nothing. Well, the biggest secret is puppets for David. they all are. Obama and his mama was puppets too. Donald Trump. At least he tried to. No, he didn't try. Don't be talking bad about Trump. He did it. Obama did his. He tried his very. Trump is clear. Obama did his very. Obama did his very best to keep you deceived. We we need Trump. We need Trump because he's going. Because he's going to shoot the missiles. We praying that he's going to shoot the missiles. Damn. We got. We need missiles. I thought the kingdom of heaven gonna get here. Kingdoms can't stand at the same time. Oh, this guy's gonna get the kingdom of heaven. This guy be destroyed. We got this. Where all this is headed to the kingdom of heaven. So it's really a good thing that the Most High put him in, in office because he's he's peace, crazy. Right? He's crazy. You want to live in peace, right? You want your kids to be safe, right? That's what we want. That's what we, that's where this, all this is headed. Well, you ain't got to worry about it. man. The scriptures, the scripture where it says that our kids will be out playing with snakes and be uh, safe and lions. Yeah, and lions. lions. That's how safe we're going to be. Because yep. we, our children, their age, going to have spiritual power over dinosaurs. You hear what I'm saying? They're real. They're in the Bible. Everything is real. Look, everything is real. Ghosts, spirits, monsters, zombies. Or everything is real. Yep. <laughs> hey, they still is dinosaurs, though. They had uh, multiple sightings in Africa up in the Congo. They, they got a, a family of triceratops running around. Where? Do some research on it. You'll be surprised what you find. Just, just do, do a Google search, Triceratops Man, Congo. The bottom of the ocean, nobody can go to the bottom of the ocean, so you don't know what's down there. You got Godzilla down there. Right. Appreciate it. That's weird, but... You don't want to go down there. Yeah, you don't want to go down where? Go down where? Go down where? The ocean, the bottom of the ocean. Well, they ain't trying, because they know they can't go. Dang, it's impossible. Right. Too much water pressure. Right. It's, they can't, it's impossible. Just it's like they can't go to the moon. Oh, yeah. 
Like they don't even know. What they try to say the middle of the earth is a giant. Now we supposed to pray for Lord to bring destruction. Yep. Psalms. To the chief musician of negative rainbow. I'm going to say a psalm of David. This is the This is a man of the Lord speaking. Psalms 55 and 9. Restore, O Lord, and divide their tongues, while has seen violence and strife in the city. That's the King David praying to the Lord. That he, you know, he also called King David a prophet in the uh, uh, Acts. He prophesied, praying to the Lord to destroy these wicked ass people. So he's seen wickedness. That's why I mean, that's why we're praying for the Lord to send you. That's the scripture right here. So do you believe in yeah. Those are the supermen. Those are men. That's the elect. But there is an elect of one third of our people. Okay, that's just the governing body, the 144,000, which we, more than likely, Lord willing, we represent that. Because we're the only ones, if you follow the scriptures, we're the only ones going to the work of the men of the Lord, according to the Bible. Okay, but there is a one third of our people, which is Zechariah 13, that's going to be broken. That you know what I'm saying? The one third. That's going to be millions of us, though. But then again, billions. I have to say billions, man. Billions, billions. billions of people gonna die when the Lord gets them. Billions. And billions gonna be saved. Billions gonna be saved. Yeah, it's gonna be. Billions. Most of the people on Earth is Israelites. Yeah. yeah. It's about to be heaven. I, I got a picture of the head on with the way. You know the name of the Lord. Yeah. See the Lord. You the Lord wants to hear prayers in His name. His name is Yahweh Shah. More ignorantly calls Jesus, but the Most High is Yahweh. Okay? You gotta call on his wife and name. He ain't hearing no, none of that other man. Just, he ain't even hearing. He ain't even listening. You got something up Yep. She has, uh, just adds on what he read about the destruction is coming. Jeremiah 17 and 18. Let them be let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Hey, this is he said double destruction. A living nightmare. That's, why else would we need he to said be saved? Twice. Hey, you give unto them double? You're on a vacation right now compared to what's coming. Oh, for real. You know, you're on a vacation right now compared to what's coming. Because in the waiting room. You think room. you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> we in the waiting room. You know, you oh, hope I go for Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pray <laughs> unto the Lord and you'll hear your prayers and he'll deliver you to the children. Baby daddy, too. Where he at? Well, that's all right. If you're a believer, you can stay here. Yeah. You know? Well, regardless, <laughs> if you if you want your children saved, bro, the Lord ain't gonna save them without the Father. The Lord is gonna correct his mom. The Lord is gonna correct him. The right. ass whooping. Is it a what? Ass whooping. The scripture said that the woman will lose the man saved because the word. Let's Hold on, hold on, hold on. Correct it. Uh, the first. Uh, is it first? Uh, the Lord is doing the child during the. I just saw a group of people. I just saw us. I just saw us. Soon as we got here, I get it. Yeah, the I first person that's important. I get it. The weaker vessel has looked at a Yeah, I'm buying it. I get it. I just had it. It's a uh, Corinthians 1 and 4. Yeah, it's a Corinthians 1 and 4. Yeah, because that's something a lot of people don't really go into. They always stress that the man saved the woman. A lot of people are really not aware that a woman yeah. can actually bring salvation to their house. Um, Just through well, the we woman. split up because he was physically, he actually, I need to bow down to him. Bow down to him. Well, really, though, I mean, because he's still a man, so no, even though he's not a believer. he is my God. Like, not as his spouse. Well, the not scriptures. Half, not as, even though he don't believe the scriptures. He's listen. talking about, like, he belongs up there with God type God. Hey, hey, the scriptures say ye are God. It's a rough situation. <laughs> but the scriptures do say to call your man the Lord. husband Lord. Right. I mean, you do what you can because you don't want to commit adultery. No. Even if you don't believe, you just got to pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that, you know. It's been three years now. I don't know. He's harassing me. 
Now you want to do what you can to make it work. <laughs> you you want to do what you can to make to make sure you, your hands are clean on your part. Well, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you love to see the day if he did wake up and do the right thing? Oh, so the most high might give you a serious right. ass whooping, a spiritual ass whooping, and bring it back here. At least to the point at least to be responsible, right? The the way, the that's the way. Yeah. I hate, man. The man that don't love his children. Yeah. Ain't no way. I couldn't feel comfortable even with my children. My children were little. Even when I went left and go to work, I was still guilty that I'm leaving my children. Yeah, I, I hate it. I hate it's an awful feeling. It is. Anytime I can't see my children, I, I don't right. feel good. Hell yeah, you know, scared of losing. Yeah. Seriously, man, my spirit went right now. I don't ever want to leave my children, man. Yeah. I got children by multiple. I got them all together. You know? Yeah, that's why you gotta leave your children yeah, with, with that woman over there. <laughs> so, you, know, you go teach them one thing, you ship them all back to their mom, and she try to undo everything you taught them. Oh, it's because we don't know what's going on. There has to be a minor communication. Because yeah. we don't want to have that. Half the time, he's talking, he's like, 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 he's yeah. If it's a bad situation we all in. You pray to the Lord. Yeah, that's all you can do is pray. pray. to the Lord. Only communication. The Lord hears that word. That word, word. not the communication. The Hawa Shah is his name. The Hawa Shah. You know? It's uh, first, first and seven, uh, seven and uh, 13. And a woman which had a husband yeah, and, uh, that believeth not. And if he be pleased to go with her, let her not leave him. Right, so all the women we be getting with, well, we probably ain't a whole lot, not for me. <laughs> they, they, they the pimps of the group, not me. I ain't like, no uh, pimp, I ain't nowhere near no pimp. Nah, but, but, uh, <laughs> wait, let's say we get with a woman, right? And she, most women, they not gonna tell the truth. They think we're crazy if we tell them the truth. You know, they, they be like, this guy is crazy. I'm not messing with him. So, but if we, but even if they don't believe, they get saved if they they with us. You know what I mean? They, they, right, right. Like the scripture says, they they're You know, because everybody, you know, these women love getting 